Thank you very much for clicking on this video. Now this is the last part of the free professional offensive guide out of the fire tide slot formation, which is in the West Coast playbook. Now once again, in Man Ultimate Team we want to have a wide receiver in at fullback. So we're going to uh, press the right stick to the right three times. And this will then, if you have a specific lineup tweak in your Man Ultimate Team, this is then going to put a wide receiver in at your fullback. I've broken this down in a couple of videos in this one I went specifically into that this tip so make sure to watch it and leave a like if you're excited uh, for this pre free offense once again now this offense was delivered to me from a professional man player that runs this formation uh, his Twitter and his twitch is going to be linked down below and the last play that I'm going to go over after I've already talked about expert in a previous video and flats two very very amazing plays I'm now finally going to uh, go over bench switch which the only difference from for this play is that we have a corner route from a different wide receiver so why I want to run this is because we want to uh, confuse our opponent because he's going not going to expect a motion from the outside wide receiver like that to then be on the post so this is just kind of like to confuse our opponent so we're going to select that and on defense we're going to come out in a just a generic cover three and then we'll audible from there on out i'm going to i'm going to just move the ball back a little bit okay so for this it doesn't really matter where we put the ball um because this concept works pretty much anywhere so what we want to do is we want to streak x max max protect streak x in route circle and motion snap thomas across I'm running this against cloud flats on defense cover three with cloud flats and i'm just making the simple read in between the in route and the post route once again all we want to do is we want to max protect streak in route and then motion snap and then we want to make the read we can hit the in route pretty easily right here or we can wait and throw that with a low pass which is while you're pressing circle or the receiver icon, you press L2, and then you want to aggressive catch it so he gets so he gets this diving animation. It's just a way more, uh, it's a way safer catch, and it's pretty much a guarantee when you get this animation that he's going to catch the ball. Once again, max protect streak, in route, and I'm going to show you that can, you can pretty much throw e either route, either one of them is fine. You just need to watch out for the user. And if you have the chance, as soon as you catch the ball, I would go down. You most of the time will get that diving animation anyway. Okay, right there, I just snapped the ball accidentally. Most of the time you'll get that diving animation when you press uh, uh, for uh, triangle for aggressive catch. But if you don't, then just make sure. I'm going to do this now. Make sure to either press r1 immediately to protect the ball or as soon as you get the ball i'm going to show you this now press both triggers and then square to go down so l2 r2 and left trigger right trigger on xbox and then press square on playstation and x on xbox okay now that's all for that setup uh, we have one tiny wrinkle that we can throw in this we can streak circle Max, once again max protect then streak circle and in route x now this is going to be kind of like a different setup it's sort of similar similar but it's a same motion but a different flow to it because he also has to follow the tight end and then you can either throw the x route or circle gets open or square excuse me the post route gets open late there's not much more to explain you can also throw them on a drag. I personally uh, prefer an in route, but either of them works. So yeah, there you get the nice catch, and that's pretty much all for this offense. Now, what I would personally recommend you to do to round out this scheme is run fullback, not halfback dive. Run fullback dive as often as you can, and just really and really just pass the ball when you have to when you're in an obvious passing situation. Although I wouldn't recommend going in this formation if you're in an obvious passing down. Just so you know that these plays are only to keep your opponent honest and not purely be able to focus on the run. 
what I have not talked about is that run uh, run defense is primarily man coverage defense. So like a man blitz is something that most people play. Most people play a c cover one. I don't know what it's called. Overstorm Brave or something like that. I'm going to show you this the playbook actually I think. So what you need to know is how to beat uh, how to beat man coverage. Now f to do that in Ultimate Team I, I would get a slot, a wide, a slot apprentice uh, wide receiver chemistry so that you can if you're a wide receiver with this chemistry is in a slot you can put them on a post and a corner both of these post and corner routes are really really good at beating man coverage it's it's not even fa even fair when i come out in cover two i'm going to show you how open they get just a quick motion snap to make sure that, that they not, don't run into each other and i'll show you that both of the corner route and the post route get open now right there he ran into his own teammate so that's why it didn't get quite as open but if i'm go if i show you that's against that was zone coverage my bad once again i'm going to run this against a cover two man um yeah on defense i'm going to show you the cover two man right here and yeah just watch how open uh, this post route gets. Like it's not even fair. That's three to four yards of separation with a slow wide receiver in Edelman. Even though he's a good route runner, he's really slow. Against one of the best cornerbacks in regular teams, which is Stefan Gilmore. So make sure to have this chemistry on your team. Get as good of a, as fast of a wide receiver as possible and as small of a wide receiver as possible. I would personally put either a Devin Hester or a Tyree Kill. In this fullback uh, spot once again if you want to know how to do that i already linked it up there so make sure to go check that out now that's all for this formation now what i would recommend you to do is i would um, put like some running plays in all of these other formations and just audible in between them oh one trap looks good i would audible in between them and then just throw a couple of different runs at your opponent this way so you might come out in this formation but you might run halfback dive out of far pro you can even snap that while he's motioning i'll show you that so things like little things like that to keep your opponent honest and mo and yeah just motion in between these formations now this is all i have on this formation i've already done a couple of videos on this formation um, some of these passing plays are really, really good. For example, I like this X spot, absolutely like it. And flats, I absolutely love it. It's got a great crossing route, even a nice post that's a killer, 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 killer against a cover two. Thanks for watching. This was kind of like a shorter video, but once again, these are only two play setups to break down for you guys. You can run them with both against cover three and cover two and cover four also. Make sure to pass the ball in man 20. Don't be a boring mud player and just run stretch and dive all, all day. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Peace out. And actually, pl please click either of those two videos. Like right there is a video and I think right there is a video. And on my face you can see the subscribe button. So please make sure to do that. I'll see you in the next one. Also, if you want to see a more of an in-depth breakdown of the best formation in this playbook, the gun gunman formation. Click this link right here. It's going to be linked. Thanks for watching.